What up, Internet? Welcome to Handle It, online instructional cooking show. My name is Harley, a.k.a. The Sauce Boss, your dad's favorite YouTuber. Today, we're doing bite-sized deep-fried shepherd pie balls. So we're gonna make little shepherd's pie balls. We're gonna deep-fry them. Your dad's gonna love it. If there's only, nah, you know what? Forget it. What's up, guys? Step one, bacon bits. I already took these strips of bacon, chopped them up a whole bunch, threw them in this bowl. Kidding, Amir did it, whatever. Get your friend to do it. You know, teamwork, makes the dream work. Come over here. Got this pan on medium to high heat. Got this uh, bowl of bacon bits. And we're gonna let these bacon bits cook for about 10 minutes. <laughs> what I got over here is some potatoes. Now we cut these potatoes up. They're good to go. Just wanted that water to be boiling right now. More than anything, I was in a good flow and I want that water to be boiling. Watch the splash. Okay. okay. Talk about it. Oh yeah, that hurts. Don't do this at home. You're not supposed to. This is a show. So we cooked the bacon down a whole bunch right now. I moved it onto a smaller pan. Gonna leave it here on medium heat to keep these bad boys warm for me. They're chilling like that. Moving right along, I got this ground beef. Gonna take this ground beef, throw it into the pan. We're gonna let this ground beef cook until it's brown. We're also gonna throw some seasoning in here. It's very peppery. Yeah, I'm trying to spread it out a bit. Give me some serious pepper bites. So now we got our boiled potatoes over here. We just got some extra ingredients to turn these potatoes into a mash. All of our ingredients put in this pot, we're gonna mash them together into a very serious mash boy. We're keeping it a bit dry because as you can see over here, we have cream corn instead of just corn. And the reason why we got cream corn is because we believe it might integrate with all the other ingredients to better make a ball, like a little packed shepherd's pie ball. Now bacon isn't something that you would normally expect to be in a shepherd's pie, but that's uh, just a general fuck up human beings, you know, since the beginning of shepherd's pie. Uh, there should have just been bacon in it from the beginning. Slavery, Holocaust, not putting bacon in shepherd's pie from the beginning. Got our beef over here. I wanna warn you guys that this is where you get selective, okay? Because you wanna be able to use this to make balls. So this is gonna help you a lot, but at the same time, it could break your meal. So I'm only gonna be pouring in about half of this right now. And then I'll decide if I want any more. I'm gonna mix these bad boys together. It looks great, smells great, and I promise you at this point, this is that point in the meal where you can ah. cook it. If you choose to stop cooking, it's not about eating, this is the moment in the meal where it, the ah. f***ing would be ideal. Perfect texture and everything. For a quick nut. really peppery. Now we're just eating. Honestly, I'll be honest. <laughs> really? <laughs> you could stop and f*** it right now, or you could stop and eat it right now. Like, it does, this could be a different type of meal. It could be just shepherd's pie goop bowl. <laughs> Got some oil spray over here, some canola oil. Just give that a little spray. Help with the I'll put it later when it's stuck. It's not gonna be stuck. This. All I wanna do is eat this right now. Okay, let's get right into it. Oh, we got gloves if you want. I forgot. See that? A little smaller than that. <laughs> you see that? That's about right. We got a little lucky here with the consistency. I mean, expect to potentially run into problems at this point in the recipe. Okay, and that's where you can decide to, you know, add some more cream corn to it. You don't wanna be on the too much cream corn part. You don't wanna be on the too liquidy part. That's hard to correct. There's a line that you don't wanna cross and it looks like we may have perfectly landed on that line. That's so tight. If it's me, I'm stopping here. I'm done right here. I'm eating the bowl of that. That's what I'm doing. Once we got our shepherd's pie balls over here, I mean, I'm very content with how they turned out. Their, their structure is, is solid. It looks like they'll hold. But regardless, the plan is 
put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes so they get a bit harder. They're gonna be a bit more solid, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna toss these in the fridge. All right, we took our balls out. They're looking good. Uh, they're looking pretty solid. And now we're gonna deep fry them. So we're gonna take a ball right here. We're gonna egg wash this bad boy, like so. Breadcrumb that bad boy, then deep fry that bad boy. It's gonna be the safe. I'm just gonna do it the safe way like this. So I'm gonna leave that in there for two to three minutes. All right, we got our deep fried shepherd pie balls. We got our gray over here. We're just gonna gray over here. Gray over here. We got our deep fried shepherd pie balls. They're looking beautiful. They smell even better. We got a bowl of gravy. We're gonna, uh, how they say on the street, I drop it this house. And um, then we're gonna eat this shit. All right. Got this big spoon here to help drip of the sauce. Also shout out to my boy, Big Spoon. He got locked up in 1993 for breaking into people's houses and cuddling them, being obviously the Big Spoon in the cuddling scenario. And that's the moment I realized I got caught up dripping in the sauce for the video and this is way too much sauce. You don't need a sauce at this much. Never get lost in the sauce. It happens to the best of us. Leave a comment, subscribe. New recipes every single week. Dan, don't sleep on this. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. That's one of our best recipes. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Such a douchey way of saying it's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that.